Hello friends, welcome back. My name is PK. In this video, you will learn how to create an interactive sales dashboard in Google Sheet. As you are seeing my screen, I have created this interactive dashboard. On the top side, we have the slicers. You can select the year from here. Accordingly, whole data will be filtered. Or you can use the select all. You can select the segment, country, product, or the discount band. The whole dashboard will be filtered. Then we have these card to show the gross sale, discount, net sale, COG and the profit. Then here we are showing the net profit by month. And here we have the different month you can see. And this is the donor chart for profit by country. And here we have the sales by segment. This is profit by product. In the last we have this table view wherein we are showing segment by gross sale, discount, sales, cox and profit. Okay. Now I will show you the data also. So here we have the data. In this data we have segment, country, product, discount band, unit sold. Then we have the manufacturing price, sales price, gross sale, discount, sales, cox, profit and date. In the last we have created one custom column which is year. Okay. Now I will explain you step by step how we can create this in Google Sheet. So let's select the data from date till the first column. We are not copying the year. I will show you how we can create the year column. So let's copy this control C. Go to the file and click on new spreadsheet. So we have this new spreadsheet. Let's paste that data here. Okay, so let's rename this as data. And let's go to the last and here we will create a column as year and we can use the formula year of date. Okay, just hit the enter and fill this down. So this is a complete date and it is actually the first date of the month. So we have changed the format as MMM dash by 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 by. Okay, now let's add a new sheet and rename it as dashboard. All right. The first row we will create the title. We can select this range and use merge cells. Increase the row height. And let's say this is our sales dashboard. All right. Just align this center, middle. Increase the font size. Change the background color. Let's say I'm taking this blue color and font color as white make this bold okay let's go to the view and show uncheck the grid lines and first we will create the slicers so let's go to the data and insert the slicer so we will click on add a slicer so we have this slicer here so we will select the range so what I'll do I'll go to the data sheet tab and I will select the whole data from a1 till the end click on OK. Now first we will choose the column. So let's say first I'm selecting the year. So we will create the slicer for year. So let's keep the slicer here. Reduce the size. Now we will select these three columns and select this range and we will fill the background color here. Let's say this dark gray or this one. All right. And this color of the slicer we will change. So double click here. Go to the customize and the background color let's choose this white color and the font color we will choose black color all right so our slicer will look like this now from here we can select the years so let's select this slicer make a copy of this Control c and v and let us keep this here paste again and keep this here so we will create total five slicers Now double click on the second slicer and go to the data and the column we will change it with segment. The third one double click and we will select country. Double click here and we will select product. Now the last one, this one double click here and select the discount band and close this. Alright, so we have all slicers and if it is not visible properly, you can increase the size. 
like this now here in the bottom we will select this range and we will give some background color so let's go to the color fill and we can select this gray color light gray all right now let's go to the insert and we will insert the chart so we will create the card first so click on insert chart so this is some default chart is there so what we will do we will select here this scorecard chart now we will add the data here so first of all we will create let's say for the gross sale so select the data range and go to the data and select the gross sale this h column h1 till the end click on ok click on aggregate go to the customize chart and access title so we will put here gross sale this is our gross sale align it center font color let's take white and font size let's take around 16 then go to the chart style background color let's choose this color and go to the key value and here we will change the font color with the white color all right the scale factor so we can see we have our data in millions right so we will select here 1 million this one so this is in the million now we will select here custom and add the suffix as m okay so this is indicating this is in million now we will reduce the size keep this here we will align this center align it center okay now make the copy of this so we will make the five copy of this select control c and control b and here also and here okay now we will align them so let's keep this here and select all and increase the size slightly All right, now double click on the second one and uh, this time we will change the range and this is H column and we will select the next column which is I column for the discount. So in place of H, let's take the I1 till I701. Click on OK. And here we will select discount. All right, so this is discount. Just change the title from here. This is discount. And change the color also so let's say we are selecting some different color so let's take this blue color and similarly we will change the color for each scorecard double click here change the color this one as let's say this green one double click here and change the background color for this one let's say this one and the last double click here and let's change with this teal color okay now double click on this third one and we will change the range okay so in place of we have taken h i and let's take here j okay and change the key value as sales which is changed automatically just change the title this is sale or net sale okay this is net sale now this one is the cogs go to the setup and select k1 till k701 customize it change the title as cogs last one is the profit double click and change the range take here l l1 till l701 hit the enter change the title also take here profit just close this all right so we have created top scorecards now we will create the chart so first we will show the trend so we can insert another chart take the chart here and we will take this area chart okay first select the data so we will take the range go to the data and select the range we have this date column or the month column and add another range let's say we want to show the total sale or net sale click on ok 
all right now here we have these two range and then the x axis select here date and the y axis we will take only sales so we don't need this one so remove this we have this sales and we will aggregate this right so click on aggregate now here we can see this chart we will further customize this so go to the customize go to the chart and access title so we can put here net sales by month okay now let's align this center take the font color as black this one we will remove this grid line so go to the grid lines and uncheck this okay so let's go to the chart style and here we can check this smooth so we can see a smooth line here and make the chart slightly smaller and let's keep this here now let's copy this chart and paste here and make it slightly smaller and we will create here donut chart okay double click on the chart go to the setup and change the chart type first and let's take this donuts chart and we will change this and here we will show profit so let's delete these two range and first range we will select product so go to the data and we can select the product or we can show by country also so let's select the country add another range and we will show the profit here so let's select the profit this one okay click on okay label we have date so just remove this and let's select here country the value we will take profit okay so we have the profit by country we will go to the customize and we will make this 3d okay and then we will change the chart title and this is profit by country now we can paste that chart again and we will create here segment wise sales so double click here and then we will change the range so let's click on this and delete the range go to the data and select this segment column first the first column click on add range then we will select the sales column j click on ok change the chart type and we will select this time bar chart this one the y axis we will take segment and the series we will take sales okay so we are seeing here sum of sales now go to the customize make it 3d okay and then we will go to the chart and access title and we will put here net sales by segment all right and here we will add the data labels also so go to the series and click on data labels so we can see the data labels also all right now make a copy of this chart and paste here make it smaller we will change this chart with the waterfall chart so double click here and change the chart type as waterfall chart this one okay and now we will change the data also so let's delete this data and select the new go to the data and we will select the product first so we have the product here add another range and then we will select the profit so let's go to the last and select this profit click on ok all right let's remove this and take the profit so this is product wise profit here okay if you want to remove the legend you can remove that so you need to go to the customize first change the chart title this is profit by products go to the legend and so here none so legends is removed okay now we can add the table also so let's insert another chart which is table or we can paste the same chart here and let's make it bigger we keep this here double click 
and change the chart type as table so we have the table in the last this one table chart all right and now we will change the data let's delete all and we can select all data we have a1 till n n is the last column right so click on ok so we have whole data here all right so the series we can show the segment and remove this so first we will show gross sale then we will show the discount then we will show the sales and then cogs in the last we will show the profit let's close this so we, this table is ready all right friends so friends that is how you can create this interactive sales dashboard in google sheet friends i hope you have enjoyed this video if you like this video please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos thank you so much for watching